hepatitis C is a viral infection that affects the liver. Uh, most people get it when they're quite young and don't know that they have it. Uh, it's contracted primarily through a needle stick or transmission of blood into someone else's blood. Most patients with hepatitis C don't know that they have it. And um, many have some mild fatigue so that really we're encouraging people who are at risk to get tested for hepatitis C. In the United States, most of the people will be uh, baby boomer population. Um, they have had their risk and again, um, uh, since the blood supply is now clean, um, it, it, it's unusual for other people to have hepatitis C who've not had needle sticks in their life. Hepatitis C, as the years go by, causes some scarring in the liver. That scarring can make people sick as they get older, and it brings up a risk of liver cancer. The liver disease can make them quite ill as they get older and can result in enough damage to the liver that actually they would need a liver transplant. It's very important to know that hepatitis C is curable and that these days the medications can cure 90 to 95% of people in as little as two to three months of therapy. Now, not everyone is eligible for that therapy, but the days of shots that were quite harsh are over. Uh, more and more people will be able to take just a handful of pills or even one pill a day. Again, for such a short time, it's remarkable. Many people think that they might have hepatitis C, and I really encourage them to get tested. It's a painless blood test that's really not all that expensive. And then once you find out you have hepatitis C, know that um, we have the power to uh, help you get treated, and we'll do everything we can to get treated. And it's very likely that the infection will be cured. So not just put into remission, this is an infection that can be driven away forever without any chance of relapse or reactivation. Mm -hmm.